Hi, I'm Matt Williamson here with Yard Barker to talk about Nick Foles versus Mitchell Trubisky in this Bears quarterback situation. I mean, first off, I don't think either Trubisky or Foles is the long-term answer for the Bears. And it's rather amazing how this organization has been searching for a quarterback pretty much my entire life. I feel like the Bears settled for Foles, partly because of the pandemic, but probably more so because he wasn't over-threatening to Trubisky, who I believe this team wants to win the starting job as well as the fact Foles was someone the staff was quite familiar with. That being said, there were way better options available this offseason than Foles. And Chicago's front office has far too often traded up or traded away their early draft picks, which hasn't helped you know the quarterbacks develop either. While no one would bring this up if Trubisky had been a hit, it is noteworthy that the two meaningless picks that Chicago traded away for Trubisky ended up being Alvin Kamara and Fred Warner. Ouch. Also, you seem to talk about it enough, but the Bears' offensive line should be right in the mix with the worst lines in the league. As I mentioned, I'm not the biggest fan of either Trubisky or Foles, but I also think Trubisky wasn't all that healthy last year. And, and if he's right, Chicago would be crazy if they didn't have him run more and create more with his legs. Somewhat like Josh Allen in Buffalo. And I would admit that Trubisky played better late in the year. But... I also don't foresee Trubisky ever being consistent enough as a passer to become an above average starting quarterback or maybe even an average starting quarterback. And he isn't a quick processor. As for Foles, he has obviously had some big moments on huge stages, but more than maybe any quarterback in the league, he's ridiculously streaky. And frankly, his high points just aren't sustained long enough and aren't more remarkably impressive as almost all his best games have come against poor deep pass defenses over his career. Again, I think the Bears want Trubisky to be the man, and I expect him to start the season behind center. But also think of this angle. With no preseason or footage for the world to see, can Trubisky really even do enough to lose his job? You know, there's no preseason. He should be able to do just enough in practice to get the first crack at this thing, but I very much expect both quarterbacks to go back and forth throughout the year. And in the end, Chicago will be in the market for their quarterback of the future again. Thanks so much. I am Matt Williamson with Yard Barker.